As someone who has never visited their college campus, imagine spending your first year living thousands of miles away from campus and taking classes and exams online in a different time zone. It may affect your social, physical and mental health. That's freshman year summed up for many international students. The threat of COVID-19 to the health of these students is the obvious deterrent to their arrival on campus. But why not take a gap year instead? One student had this to say. Young South Korean men have military obligations. You know, that's already a significant delay in my academic journey, right? So, you know, taking a, another gap year was something that wasn't just um, tolerable in my own situation. And as these students persevere through virtual courses on their own, they also have to fight against those massive time differences. You know, it does become very difficult because you actually start your classes when the sun is set and, you know, it's all dark and then you're starting your classes and that just like sort of messes with your brain. And then the next thing is that if you need office hours or any other thing, you have to end, you end up staying up. And I did end up staying up for majority of this year. I just stay up till like 3 a.m., 4 a.m. I get only like a couple of hours of sunlight, like actual, you know, real sunlight. So that that's another thing that I don't know why I've just really struggled with that, you know, I'm always constantly sitting in darkness. These time differences not only make making new friends hard, but they even make it harder to meet your existing friends. Um, my friends were trying to, you know, like persuade me to like hang out in Seoul, but uh, I wasn't able to because, you know, I had to take classes at this point of time. If I decided to like hang out with them, then I would have to adjust my sleep schedule and all of those things. That would be just really hard for me to, you know, like go through. Despite the struggles, international students are definitely thankful to be safe. But they do feel bad about missing out on arriving on campus, attending sports events and living in the dorms. Experiencing what it what it is to be like an actual college student, not an online college student, something that I'm really looking forward to.